Hi everyone, what's up? This is Swarup and welcome to your fifth C programming tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over a very important concept of not just C programming but every programming language, the data types. Well, the data types as the name probably suggests you can think of like yeah, data types. These must be something like the data types we know, the pictures, images, music, videos and all. But hold on a second, for the programming and stuff, we don't really use music, audio and video. So data essentially in programming in programs means either numbers or text. Well, as I said, data types is very important in every programming language and you have to know them to do everything and anything. Basically, in C, for C programming, there are four primary data types. These are called primary data types. The int, the char, float and double. Well, the first one int is short form of integer. Well, you can see from this, these all, these green color numbers or the range of values which can which it can accommodate. Well, we would probably never go out of this range because it's like what some minus 2 billion, 2 plus 2 billion. We will probably never go out of this range. So, for our programming purposes, we could take that limit as infinite. So, we can accommodate all. Integers are basically the numbers which, which don't have a decimal point. Like the one that showed there, 1, 2 or minus 24, minus 124 and all without a decimal point. Well, coming to the second one, char is for the characters. Characters can be alphabets like A, B, C, the capital ones, capital A, capital B, capital C or even there are special characters like the exclamation the dollar sign the greater than uh, divided by plus even these are these come under characters the range for the characters is like minus 128 to plus 127 these are the ascii numbers of the characters that means for small a there is a number associated with small a which is in between 120 to 127 minus 120 to plus 127 but we don't need to know them anyway and the third one is the float float is well let me tell you this example before we go to float well let's consider a situation when some some friend of yours asks you how many brothers do you have well you can probably answer it by saying well i have one brother two brothers or three brothers but if he asks how much brothers do you have well that's sort of absurd you can't answer like saying i have 1.5 brothers 2.5 brothers so float is basically that thing int we use this for the questions of sort how many and the float for questions of sort how much so that's the basic that's the main difference between int and float int is for integers and float is for numbers which we have to answer in not in direct numbers but in fractions so basically the float numbers are real numbers real numbers back from your fourth standard and fifth standard or some so real numbers are ones with decimal points like you can see here like minus 3.414 or 6 point something something all these things these are floating point numbers well this one you can see here it's the range for the float minus 3.4 into 10 power 38 minus that is minus 34 and followed by 37 zeros to 34 followed by 30 37 zeros well that's sort of a very big range we will never ever probably go out of this range but still there is an, another data type called double which does exactly the same as float but it can accommodate even more digits you can see here it's from minus 1.7 times 10 power 308 that is minus 17 followed by 307 zeros 
that's like humongous number but even we use double sometimes and float sometimes but double and float you can think them as almost similar things so that's basically is the classification of the primary data types well apart from these primary data types they are others what are called as the derived data types for every of these primary ones for example for int there are there there are two data types derived data types which are signed and unsigned well these derived data types are not much in use now only a few programmers probably use them but they are useful sometimes in solving some problems well signed is for the numbers with which are negative that is which have a negative sign in with with them like 2 minus 2 minus 45 and all this and unsigned is for the numbers which are positive that is which don't have any sign 35 56 and all even there is another classification like long int and short int which stores the integer values but differ from the memories they use memory they use for storing the numbers but we don't normally use those things these videos coming to characters there are two derived data types which are called as sign and unsigned well you probably are like what the hell why did characters have any sign characters aren't they represented like a b and c isn't it but well you can see the range is the numbers well this is from the ascii numbers because a computer finally stores everything in binaries in number form so basically car is also like a number so it also have signed and unsigned numbers with numbers with plus and minus sign coming to float float as i said is used for real constants even double is also for the real constants but double uses a bit more of memory than float but it isn't not of much concern these days because we already have computers with almost 8 GB RAM in with them so it doesn't make any sense to get concerned about the memory so that's the four major data types for you in the derived data types we I will probably prefer not to use any derived data types except and unless it's very much needed but if you you want to use them well you can use them so that's it for today hope you guys like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials so thanks for watching and goodbye